Hi guys, it's Femi here. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about G Idol Soyeon's demonic possession. So she gave an interview recently with Vogue Korea that I'm just going to um, read some interesting parts about her interview that I found uh, to be very revealing. So the title of the article is G Idol Soyeon explains her windy quote unquote windy alter ego character plus talks about the other characters living inside her in Vogue. So right off the bat, we already know, we've established what an alter ego really is, right? As I've explained to you guys in my Kai videos and the videos with Taemin and Espan, my K-pop expose videos. So I'm not going to go too much into depth about it. If you want more information, you can just watch those videos. But let's just get right into the nitty gritty. So here she says, these days, having a made-up alter ego is trendy, but Windy is a little different. She is one of the many alter egos that live inside me. She is carefree like the wind and does not care what others think. So, the demon inside her, she's explaining that demon's personality, the demon that is in her. And she goes on to give a little bit of a background. Here she says, Soyeon also described another alter ego character of hers. When I was younger, I was worried about becoming an adult. Adults seemed way too realistic, like they had no imagination or dreams. I always said, I want to live in the cartoons, but the adults just waved it off. I was being honest though, I'm still the same today. All of my friends like Windy will always be with me as well. Then here she goes on to say, there's another friend whose name is Yon Ha. Yon stands for Lotus and Ha stands for Summer. Yon Ha wears Hanbok. She lives in the past, but she also lives with me in the present. She's good at wielding a sword and has superpowers. So she has another demon living inside her called Yon Ha, who lives in the past and who also lives in the present. What does that sound like? Reincarnation, right? So we see here an element of the new age belief system which is also a cult philosophy which is also in many false religions um, particularly Hinduism the belief in reincarnation and um, the past life and the present life and oh it's just deep man so these are the pictures she took for the interview right and look one eye symbolism checkerboard one nice symbolism with the troll doll which is a demonic doll there's been so many horror stories with that doll and so forth so it's like you, you already see the symbolism right nothing is a coincidence guys nothing is a coincidence nothing we're living in a very very dark time spiritually speaking and she's good at wielding a sword and has superpowers, which is demonic possession, like demonic powers. These people are, they have multiple altars, multiple demons possessing them, you know? Like, that's just the reality, is demonic possession. Like, alter ego is just an euphemism. It's demonic possession. So, you know, these demons, like, they think that these demons that possess them are their spirit guides, their friends, because um, they feel like, they are getting power from these demons and these demons are helping them with their careers and by the way you know the album she's coming out with she named the album after this demon this alter ego right quote unquote alter ego and just so you know like just because she's only now talking about this alter ego aka this demonic possession doesn't mean she just recently got possessed like most of these idols are demon possessed and you know like i told you guys before like um their spirit helping them and they are demon possessed and they think that the spirits will propel them into success in their careers and will help them to work hard because you know the industry is a very tasking industry like they don't sleep and everything they are always practicing they are always doing this and that so they feel like 
the demons strengthen them and help them to really really get back up when they're like tired and stuff and stay motivated to fulfill their career goals and you know i've said before in a separate video that demons and satan himself loves ambitious people he loves to use ambitious people to fulfill his agenda so it's not written on anybody's forehead who's possessed like you have to discern spiritually because you can just see someone that looks normal, acts normal, acts cute, they love animals, they do all these good works and all these things and you just, with your own carnal mind, just see on the surface and like, ah, there's no way this person can be possessed. But I'm telling you, those are the types of people that Satan loves to use for his agenda. So those are the ones that are most likely demon possessed because they hide it well, you know, like they mask it well. Satan will use the most beautiful, the most innocent looking, the most, you know, pleasant looking people and people that seem to be good yeah UN ambassadors like look at Angelina Jolie you know and that woman is clearly demon possessed look at Beyonce and what's interesting about that speaking of Beyonce is that you know that Oprah interview that she had um was it 2020 2007 or 2008 I'm going to uh, put a short clip about it in this video as well when she was talking about Sasha first and she was like everyone has something in them helping them like when you're getting ready to go on stage and perform, does Sasha Fierce, when does she show up? Usually when I hear the crowd, when I yeah. put on my stilettos, um, when like the, the moment right before when you're nervous and, and that other thing kind of takes over for you. And that other thing kind of takes over for you. Uh-huh. Then Sasha Fierce appears in my posture and, and the way I speak and everything is different. Oh, Sasha's coming out. No, no, she's not. <laughs> she doesn't do interviews. She, she only performs. Oh, she doesn't do interviews? No, no, no. No, you leave her home for that. Yes. But no, is it like a process that happens too? Like you were talking about the high heels, like once the lashes go on and the Absolutely. makeup and all that stuff. It's kind of like when I do a movie, becoming the character. Once you put on the wig and once yeah. you put on the clothes, you walk different. Yeah. It's, it's kind of this character that I've, I've created over the years. Uh-huh. But definitely when I'm nervous or, or um, whenever I have to perform, whenever I have to do choreography or something that's difficult, and I, it's no different from anyone else. I feel like we all kind of have that, that thing yeah. that takes over when it's... So I feel like we all kind of have that, that thing yeah. that takes over when it's... It's deep. Beyonce knows that she's demon-possessed and she calls herself a Christian. <laughs> like... Don't be fooled by people calling themselves Christians or saying that they worship God and everything because the Bible says by their fruits you shall know that anybody can call themselves a Christian. Anybody can claim to be worshipping God. But the Bible is very clear. You know, if you truly confess Christ, you follow Christ and your lifestyle will reflect it. You know, you follow Christ in spirit and in truth. So your lifestyle will reflect it and you bear the fruit of the spirit. The fruit of the spirit is not having sensual music or just talking about prideful things or carnal things about this world. Because this world is going to be destroyed. You know that, right? In the great tribulation, God is going to destroy this world in his wrath. So if all your ambition and all your hope is in the things of this world, then you are lost. You are lost and you don't know Christ. You don't know Christ at all. So, it's very, very important that you guys know that the people that you guys are admiring, that's for those of you that have still not come out of, you know, the K-pop industry, you are still following these idols and you are still defending them, saying, no, oh, they're, they're okay, this, this, this. Listen, listen, this is not the time to be holding on to idols or anything else that distracts you from Christ. Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. Are these people going to stand like on your behalf on judgment day and explain to God that, oh, um, it's because they were listening to me, they were not able to serve you, Lord. Or are you going to tell God that, oh, these people distracted me, these people led me astray. Like, is that what you, will you be like Eve on judgment day blaming the serpent? No, God is going to hold you accountable, you and no one else. Like, you are responsible for your work with the Lord. You are responsible for either obeying Christ or disobeying him. You cannot blame anybody and you cannot use anybody as an excuse on judgment day. So even though we believers are exposing these idols and warning you about them, it is up to you to still go and listen to them, do whatever you like because everybody has free will, right? So if you truly want to follow Christ, it is up to you. If you still want to, you know, have one leg in the world and one leg in the faith, it's still up to you. But just know that the Bible says in Revelation 3, that God is going to spit all the lukewarm people out of his mouth. Like, don't play games with God. He is God Almighty. 
he is to be feared, he is to be loved, he is to be obeyed. Like you need to, the church has forgotten the fear of the Lord. And this time that we are in, these last days, this is not the time to forget the fear of the Lord. Now is the time to draw close to God, to fear him, to repent, to turn back to him and to do his will for your life without distractions. Like the spiritual warfare is real. And the thing is, many of you that are still holding on to K-pop, you overestimate yourselves and you underestimate the devil because you think, oh, as long as I just listen to the good part of K-pop, the good music, or I just follow the good singers, like whatever, whatever. Listen, these people don't care about you. They don't know your existence. They did not die for you on the cross. Jesus died for you on the cross. Okay? They don't love you. If they love you, they won't be leading you astray with their music. You know? It's not a coincidence that they keep having comebacks and comebacks. They keep doing things to keep you locked in into the industry. That's not a coincidence. Satan is very clever. Very, very clever. It's the same thing with anime, with other areas of entertainment, basically. There's many aspects to it that he uses to keep people entangled in whatever it is that they're addicted to. And that's why it becomes a stronghold. So you cannot say as long as they're just singing about love and light and good things and peace and... Do you, do you understand what spiritual warfare is? Do you understand what demonic oppression is? Do you know what demonic deception is? Like, don't overestimate yourself. Stop thinking you're too smart to be deceived or you're too smart to be able to handle this or that. No, follow scripture. Obey scripture. Humble yourself before the mighty God and it's only when you humble yourself before him that he will bless you with wisdom and he will open your eyes and give you the grace to live for his glory. If you're too pride and you think that you... As long as you do, like you keep giving excuses that you listen to them only as long as you only listen to the positive music or you only listen to them sometimes or whatever, you are deceiving yourself and Satan still has you bound. Listen, Satan is much more intelligent than you. The only wisdom that surpasses that of Satan is godly wisdom. And you can only get godly wisdom if you truly fear God. That's why the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. If you don't fear God with your whole heart, like with all of your being, you can never be wise. No matter how many scholarships you have, how many degrees you have, however learned you are, because God's wisdom is not of this world. It's not earthly wisdom. So it's not according to how much of a genius you are or the world considers you to be. You know how high your IQ is or all this foolishness, because that is not going to cut it in the eyes of the Lord. It's whether you have his wisdom or not, which comes from above, which comes from God himself. And God will only bestow you with his godly wisdom if you fear him. So you need to fear God. You need to fear God. Otherwise, you stay spiritually blind and bound. And let me tell you, when Jesus comes at the rapture, do you know that there will still be people in the middle of listening to their K-pop music, in the middle of smoking weed, in the middle of fornicate, doing whatever it is that they claim to confess Christ, but they are still living like the world and still following the world and holding on to the world. And they'll be doing all these things when Christ comes. Like, if you cannot live your life for Christ now, is it when you're left behind during the great tribulation that you think you'll be able to live for Christ when the demons are manifested as aliens? You'll be able to do anything because the Antichrist will be in power. So if you cannot live for Christ now, Christ is calling you to die to your flesh now. You can't even let go of people who don't even know you exist. People who don't love you, they're taking oaths against you. They are casting spells on you. And you are here saying, no, they are not that bad. And them too, they are struggling. Them too, they are this. Listen, 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 listen. Yes, as believers, we love them in Christ and we pray for them. But don't get it twisted. Hmm? Many of them know what they are doing. They willingly enter their cult. They willingly have deals with demons. So that they can get ahead in life. Because this world loves ambitious people. And if you are working with Satan, if you are working with any demonic spirit... Even the Bible tells us our hearts are deceitful and desperately wicked. So if you do not have Christ and if you do not know him, as these people do not, how can they love you? True love comes from God and they don't know the true God. So how can they love you? They don't even love themselves because if they truly love themselves, they love Christ because you can only love yourself through Christ because it's Christ that will show you your value, that you are loved, you are created and fearfully and wonderfully made for his glory. So he will reveal to you that yes, you are precious in my eyes. So you love yourself, but not like in a prideful way, but in a way that you know that you are valued and you mean something to Christ because he created you for his glory. But the love these people talk about when they talk about loving yourself is a worldly, carnal, fleshy love. 
it's not the same as the biblical love and in the biblical love you have to love christ first you always put god first in everything but in the world you love yourself first above all so they become their own gods so it's very dangerous that you're following people who are following demons and worshiping demons and you call yourself a believer and you call yourself a follower of christ when the bible says that you cannot eat at the table of the lord and the table of demons you know so we see in this clip beyonce very clear and if you see beyonce look at how well spoken she is soft spoken she is she's clearly a hard worker she's clearly successful It's the same thing basically as what happens in the k-pop world she works extremely hard nobody's denying that these idols work hard but guess what it is demons helping her she's too possessed she's still working for satan okay so it's like i don't understand why it's so much easier for people to say oh yeah these americans they're in the lunati they are this they are that they're wicked they're witches they're this but when it comes to the k-pop idols like oh no this person is too innocent to do that this but well clearly the k-pop industry is clearly modeled after the american industry that's why it's called k-pop it's modeled after american pop american pop music that's why you see the same satanic symbols and elements and it goes through even though we we'll see it as a much worse training regimen but if you think of bands like InSync and um backstreet boys what they had to go through like when they were training and um what's the group with omarion um i've forgotten his group name like they suffered a lot too they had to they were always touring they were always practicing like it was non-stop so it was actually similar but in the k-pop industry it's worse because i, I believe that satan is is, is really desperate and you know he's a hard taskmaster like in christ you have rest you have peace but satan will walk you to the bones like once you are working with demons or the devil you are you're going to be worked to the core you know because he, he he aims to steal kill and destroy that's why these people they don't sleep well they basically become robots in the industry that's why it's easier for them to be programmed you know into mk ultra or whatever but just know that many of them because they have willingly submitted their wills to demons and willingly worship lucifer and all these things thinking that they will get rewards they will get blessed and everything and they are willingly initiated into the occult they feel like it's worth it to go through all these things just like the same way american celebrities you know people like kitty perry who started out as a christian but her career wasn't going the way she wanted to so she quote unquote sold her soul to the devil to get far in the industry to become successful I mean, I released a gospel record when I was 15 um, because I grew up in, uh, you know, a household where all I ever did was listen to gospel music and my parents are both traveling ministers. And so I kind of sang about, you know, what was going on in my life at 15. And that's how I got introduced to the music industry. Because I swear I wanted to be like the Amy Grant of music. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out. And so I sold my soul to the devil. And many of them do that. So it's like stop following humans stop looking to humans because guess what the antichrist is going to be the ultimate celebrity all the celebrity and idol worship is a setup to worship the antichrist and that's the same way people will be justifying the antichrist like what he's a genius no he speaks words of peace because the antichrist is going to come as a man of peace if you want to unite the whole world under a one world government so he's going to speak words of peace you know so if you cannot even come out of the deception of this k-pop idolatry do you really think you'll be able to come out of the deception of the antichrist and trust me you do not want to be left behind to face the antichrist and the horde of demons working with him you don't want to be left behind for that so now is the time to be rapture ready now is the time to repent now is the time to accept jesus christ truly in your heart and confess with your mouth that he's lord and follow him follow the great shepherd wherever he goes you know be christ like do what christ will do it's like if you want to have discernment pray for discernment and study the bible read the bible draw close to god pray fast now is the time to draw close to god seek the lord while he may yet be found because he's coming for his bride any moment anytime like guys it's serious it's serious you know it's serious like you yourself you can't say oh you're still praying for these people well when you yourself you're still bound how can you be praying for them when you yourself you're still bound you need to pray for yourself first and be delivered from this stronghold then you can pray for them it's like pigs playing in the mirror how can you be playing in the mirror and you want to deliver other people that are in the same dirty mirror as you you have to first come out of that mirror and be cleansed and be sanctified and stay apart 
stay in a clean place that is not dirty, that is not part of the fields. And when you have been delivered from the mare, then you can stretch out your hands and pull others from the mare. That is the love of Christ. You speak the truth in love. You warn people of the enemy's deceptions. You people, some of you don't know what love is. Because you don't want to hear anything negative about your favorite idols or your favorite. Listen, it's not about what is negative or positive. It's about the truth. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Open your eyes and repent now. Drop everything that is taking away your time, your heart from Christ. Many of you spend more time defending your so-called idols than God and you claim to be following Christ. Look, God is not coming for people that claim to be Christians. Because God sees the heart. You can claim to be Christian all day long. But God knows your heart. Are you really living for him? What are you doing in secret? What have you even done for the kingdom? Being a Christian is not fluff and puff and just telling people what they want to hear. Don't quote unquote love them to destruction because that is not love. That you don't tell them the truth because you think you are loving them and you just don't want to offend them. Jesus offended people when he spoke the truth. Because he needed them to be saved. You guys need to repent from K-pop idolatry and come out of it. Because I'm telling you, most of these people are demon-possessed. We don't need to wait for them to make albums um, talking about their alter egos before you. I've told you about this before. They are demon-possessed because if you don't have Christ, you are basically an open door for demonic possession. And Satan uses the most talented, the most brilliant, the most beautiful, the most innocent looking people to fulfill his agenda because they know that this world is carnal. They only go up according to what they see, what they hear, what they feel, their feelings. Your feelings are not the truth. Just because you feel that somebody may be a good person doesn't mean it's true. Look at the controversy that happened with CM Blues, um, Jong Hyun or whatever his name is. That guy was my bias when I was in the K-pop industry. Imagine my shock when I found out about his chat room, the sexual scandal and whatever it was. I don't really remember now since it's been a few years. But you know, it was a huge scandal. Like, basically the guy was a pervert. I don't, I don't remember if he was also a rapist or what, but it was huge. And before that, how did he present himself? As this innocent, nice guy, he was on, we got married and he was such a gentleman. Like, you don't know who these people are. What they do behind closed doors, the kind of rituals they're doing. Because they don't have Christ. You don't know these people. Just because a song sounds positive or they are speaking about love and peace means absolutely nothing. Music is spiritual. What is the spirit influencing them? I don't care whether you think you are a Christian that writes music or whatever. If you are not walking in the light of the truth, if you are not following the influence and power of the Holy Spirit, you yourself will be influenced by demons. No matter if you think you are not. Because I was the same way. I was in the K-pop industry like as a K-pop fan, right? And I was already saved, but I was being influenced by demons and it was coming out of me creatively too. I was making music videos, like FMVs for my biases, but they were all very dark and occultic. So do not be prideful and think that you cannot be deceived. Because if you are not walking in the will of God for your life, you will be deceived and you can't be deceived. It's only those that are spirit-filled and spirit-led that God will open their eyes to the truth, to whatever it is that the enemy had deceived them into. He will open their eyes and he will keep their eyes open because it is possible for God to open your eyes. But if you fall back into disobedience, your eyes will be shut again because guess what? The devil keeps trying to keep you blind. He keeps trying to deceive you. That's why the Bible says, humble yourself before the Lord. We always have to walk humbly before God and it's God that will continue to keep us all and lead us all on the path of righteousness. We have to continue to shine bright. How can you be the light of the world if the light in you is darkness? Because you are not living in accordance to God's will, in accordance to biblical truth. You are living according to what you think your own interpretation of the word of God is. And you are only deceiving yourself if you do that. The word of God is spiritually discerned. You need to be filled with his Holy Spirit to understand it and to live by it. And now is the time, guys. I can't stress this enough. Like, Jesus can come at any time. Prophecy has a timeline. And he's going to come in our generation. Prophecy has a beginning and an end because everything God has ordained for mankind has a timeline, a beginning and an end. 
God is the only one that dwells outside of time. So just like this world began, this world is going to end. And it is Jesus that will restore this world in his own reign as king during the millennial reign. This world as we know it is going to end. So don't be holding on to this world and making excuses. Live for God now. Seek God now. Repent and seek strength from him now. Seek understanding from him now. Whatever you need. Don't go to people to explain the Bible to you. Go to God. Go to God. The Bible is his word. Go to God and ask him to give you understanding. Don't rely on anyone for anything. Go to God. Pray for yourself. Fast over yourself. Seek God for deliverance from this stronghold and pray for these idols. You know? Pray for them. Stop following them. Stop having anything to do with them. Separate yourself from them. You know? And God will give you more grace. More grace to do his will for your life. So, love you all. God bless you all. Bye.